Bet na bet ko siya so far. Bet na bet ko siya so... Yeah. The color pee... Pee off? Pee off. Pee! I need to pee! Wow. <laughs> this lipstick though... But I'm pretty sure it's less than 200 pesos. 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 This is Rizzo. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be doing, yes, another first impression review and yes, another lipstick. This time, it will be on the Fashion 21 Color Mood Lipstick. I have mine in the shade Bad Apple. This is actually my sister's. I didn't sa bahay, so I was like, you know what? I haven't tried that. Let me review that. I don't know how much it is. I will need to ask her and post the price in here or if not here, down below. As you guys can see, it's a very nice, deep, brownish, red shade. And I really like it actually. I have tried their matte lipstick and I really like the All Day Bronze Matte Lipstick. I actually have a review and also it is featured in my top 5 local favorite lipsticks. I will leave the links of those videos below. And I noticed ko lang sa Fashion 21 and lipsticks, ang ganda ng packaging nila. It feels really sturdy. Like, listen to this. Alam mo talaga na secure yung lipstick mo. Yes, it's a plastic but it's kind of like high quality plastic in my opinion. So yung color mood lipstick nila, ano lang, parang flat lang yung um, top at saka bottom. Yung all day matte kasi nila may pagka matte na style, yung parang rounded yung lid ng lipstick. It is a kind of packaging na confident ka na kapag nalaglag siya, hindi mawawasak yung lipstick mo. Yung ganong klaseng packaging. Wala na akong masasabi, so I will go ahead and show you guys the clip of me applying this on my lips. Meron talagang sunburn ang aking lips dito. Oh well. Oh. Wow, super shiny. Wala siyang amoy. Yeah, wala siyang amoy. Wow, you guys. This lipstick is very, very pigmented. Very glossy as well, as you guys can see. The color payoff is pretty on point naman. It's a very deep red brownish shade. Feels really nice on the lips. Glides on like a dream. As in, super easy ng pag-apply. Very, very creamy. Right now, it feels really hydrating on the lips. Bet na bet ko siya so far. It is now 10.40 ng umaga. I'll get back to you guys later after my lunch. It is now 2.43 ng hapon. Nag-lunch na ako, you guys. Yung lips ko, nag-fade na yung lipstick for the most part. Nanotice ko rin na grabe siya mag-bleed outside my lip lines, you guys. Like, nakikita nyo dito, sobrang nag-bleed siya dito sa baba. Nawala na yung va va na kulay ng lips kanina. Nandito pa rin yung shine, obviously. I'm gonna try and see if I can spread it. Na spread ko siya pero tsaka na siya tingnan. Parang tint na lang yung natira. Linisin ko lang muna yung nagbleed. Good thing para sa akin kasi nag-tint siya. Pero nung spread ko siya, hindi talaga ganun ka-even tingnan yung lipstick. So kailangan kong mag-retouch. Also guys, sobrang nagta-transfer siya. Hindi siya kiss-proof at all. Um nung kumakain ako as in sobrang nagte-transfer yung lipstick sa spoon, sa kanin, sa bottle ng tubig na ininuman ko. Kinis ko lang yung kamay ko para matanggal yung lipstick. And ito na natira. Tint na to you guys. So if you're a big fan of lipstick na nagte-tint, you will like this one as in sobrang nagte-tint siya. Hindi nga lang ganun ka-even yung tint niya sa lips, pero gusto ko 'yon. Gusto ko yung nagte-tint na lipstick. For this lipstick, kailangan mo na talagang mag-retouch after isang kainan kasi iyas na sa spread siya, pero hindi siya ganun kaganda tingnan. Yung reapplication, same thing. As in sobrang creamy nitong lipstick na to and hindi siya drying sa lips at all. Kahit na nagte-tint na yung lipstick sa lips ko, meron siyang actually hydrating moisturizing effects sa lips which I really like. I will get back to you guys later after ko kumain ng dinner. It is now 9.28 ng gabi. Nag-dinner ako, nag-snack. Nag-snack ba ako? Yeah, nag-snack ako. Tapos, nag-tea. So, marami nang pinagdaanan itong lips na to. Hindi ko masyadong gusto yung pag-fade niya sa lips ko. Parang ang tsaka niya tingnan. Nagsisato siya sa lip lines. So, nag-fade na yung inner corner. Pero meron pa rin lipstick na nagsato sa lip lines there. So, it's tsaka tingnan. Sobrang, sobrang bilis niya mag-fade, you guys. So, after isang kainan, nag-fade na talaga 
siya. Maraming downsides tong lipstick na to for me. First of all, nag nagbi-bleed siya outside the lip lines. Ang tsaka niya tingnan kapag nag-fade out siya. And hindi siya long-lasting. Hindi din siya nasispread ng maayos. Tsaka na siya kapag spread mo siya. So I don't like that as well. Yung mga nagustuhan ko sa kanya, first of all, yung shade niya, gustong-gusto ko. Gustong-gusto ko rin na it feels really moisturizing on the lips. Bet na bet ko din yung formula niya. Super ganda sa application. I'm not really a big fan of this lipstick. Okay lang sa akin kung hindi long-lasting yung lipstick eh. As long as nasispread ko siya, nasisave ko siya. Hindi lang naman kasi sa hindi siya long-lasting, nagbi-bleed din siya outside the lip lines. So aside from retouching your lips, kailangan mo pang linisin yung outside ng lip lines mo kasi nag-bleed yung lipstick there. It's just a lot of work to make this lipstick work. Ooh, it's just a lot of work to make this lipstick work. It's good na na-try ko siya, pero I'm not gonna buy it for myself. Kasi nga, diba, na-mention ko, this is my sister's. If you have dry lips and you don't mind retouching, you don't mind a lipstick that bleeds outside your lip lines, I mean, you can save that naman by applying lip liner. And then maybe you will like this. Kasi meron talaga siyang moisturizing and hydrating effects sa lips. But for me, I'm good without this. And yeah, that's it for this review. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed watching or if it was helpful at all. Please subscribe if you're not yet already. I hope to see you in my next one. Do not forget be good. Bye!